Mission. Good morning, it's 726. I'm Jessica Jewell. The suspect causing a local hospital to go into lockdown is scheduled to appear in court in about an hour. 27 year old Larry Young II was arrested and charged with assault by pointing a gun after an incident in the parking lot of Onslow Memorial Hospital. It happened yesterday morning around 11. The hospital security staff initiated lockdown procedures immediately. Police say Young fled the scene before officers arrived, but took him into custody after he returned to the hospital around 2.30 in the afternoon. That's when the lockdown was lifted. Fortunately, no one was hurt. We now know the name of the victim who lost his life during a head on crash in Craven County. Troopers tell us 75 year old Clyde Mallison Jr. was driving his Volvo when a man driving a Dodge pickup truck south on Highway 43 crossed the center line and struck Mallison's car. It happened around 1130 Sunday night. Mallison was pronounced dead at the scene. He's best known as Tom the Jazz Man on local radio. The pickup driver was flown to Vidant Medical Center where he remains in critical condition. Troopers say they're still trying to identify the driver of the truck because he didn't have any ID on him. Well, let's get a check of the weather now. Dante Jones has your first alert forecast. Good morning to you, everybody. Good morning to you, Jessica. Good to see you. We're looking at a lot of fog out this morning. I mean, that's what's going on. So you want to leave yourself a little bit of extra time if you headed out the door within the next few minutes. Some of it really dense and especially some of those rural areas. We're also looking at warm and muggy conditions out there too. some rain swinging in off the Atlantic. So expect for the rain showers to continue through the morning and really pick up in coverage and intensity as we go throughout the afternoon. There are those temperatures for you upper 60s and lower 70s but feeling just downright soupy out there. Visibility is looking downhill as you get towards the Raleigh area. Really dense fog there. A dense fog advisory just north of 64. Washington and Jacksonville heads up a lot of dense fog in your neck of the woods too. Lifting a little bit though for you in Greenville. So we saw that shot there just a minute ago on top of the Hampton Inn. Wasn't looking too terribly bad. There's the hour by hour. We continue to see the rain showers move in off the coast and that's really the, the what's going to mark the day and it's really going to determine our temperature is the clouds and the rain. If we see more of that, those temperatures that we have a high of 88 could probably be down just a few degrees. So we'll keep an eye on that as we go throughout the day. So lower 70s overnight tonight for us. So we'll continue to see warm and muggy overnight. So expect another warm and summer like day today, but we'll finally finally back things off by the time we get to the weekend temperatures a lot cooler. A lot more fall like feel yes. really good outside, but yes. be careful out there this morning. Absolutely. All right, well, CBS This Morning continues now. We'll be back at 7.56 for another news and weather update.